Mike Tyndall ignores the question regarding Prince Harry with a stone-faced expression. On a recent edition of his podcast, Mike Tyndall avoided queries regarding the cousin of his wife Zara, Prince Harry. On his podcast The Good, The Bad and the Rugby, which he co-hosts with James Haskell and Alex Payne, the former rugby star, talked about the royal family's holiday preparations. I am a celeb, the get me out of here. Star received a barrage of inquiries regarding the Netflix doka series about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. He deftly sidestepped the supporters who attempted to drag the athlete into a contentious subject. He declined to respond to inquiries regarding Harry and Meghan. Mike responded, yeah, it definitely will be, when host Alex Payne asked if Christmas for the Royals will be quite different. I have no idea, but I'm looking forward to it. Undoubtedly, there have been many changes and firsts. James Haskell then slyly brought up the Duke of Sussex and sarcastically questioned whether the family would be engaging in a game of pin the tail on Prince Harry while he was gone. Mike remained stone-faced, refusing to respond, while James made a joke about the royals, putting Harry's face on a pinata instead. In response, Mike stated that although he was in the I'm a Celeb jungle in Australia, he hadn't missed his co-hosts, diving around with where they go with stories. For the first time since the Queen's passing in September, Zara and his husband Mike Tyndall joined the royal family as they spent the holiday season at the Sandringham Estate in Norfolk. After touring the US, a royal author claims that Harry and Meghan are losing America due to a whingathon. Valentine Lowe, author of Royal, speaks exclusively to Express.co.uk Americans have grown weary of the Sussexes' complaints. A royal novelist who recently returned from a trip stateside claims that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's recent whingathon has resulted in declining support in the U.S. Valentine Lowe, who is now back in the U.K. after promoting his latest book about the royal family, claims that local conversations confirm polling results that show Americans are getting sick of the story of the Sussexes. He called their stories of life in the firm a whingathon and said that after being in the States, I get the idea they have lost part of that popularity. An explosive view into the inner workings of the royal institution, courtiers. Intrigue, ambition and the power players behind the House of Windsor has recently been published by Lowe. Recent polling backs up his claims. Six days following the release of Prince Harry's book, Spare, which contains a lot of shocking allegations about royal life, 2,000 eligible U.S. voters were surveyed. From plus 38 in December to minus 7 in January, the Duke's favorability rating fell 45 points. In the Newsweek poll, 44% of Americans think Harry should not have shared private family conversations in spare, while only 26% supported the prince's choice. Meghan's performance was not very good. Even after Harry criticized his stepmother in the book, the Duchess of Sussex was deemed to be much less well-liked than the Queen Consort Camilla. Before the royal crew departed the UK in 2020, claims that Meghan had bullied them were first made public by journalist Lowe. The Sussexes vehemently refuted these allegations. She was saddened by this latest attack on her character, a representative for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex said at the time, calling the reports misleading and hurtful information. Lowe expressed sympathy for the Sussexes' acrimonious resignation from their positions as senior working royals and implied that Buckingham Palace handled the matter clumsily. It was poorly handled by the palace. Harry and Meghan were obviously upset, said Lowe. It was handled poorly, being born into the family shouldn't be a life sentence. After a brief stay in Canada, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex relocated to law in March 2020. The couple then made their home in Santa Barbara, California's upscale neighborhood of Montecito. In February 2021, Buckingham Palace announced that Harry and Meghan would not be taking up royal duties again. The palace released a statement at the time that read, while everyone is grieved by their decision, the Duke and Duchess remain greatly loved members of the family.